Hey guys, Max here. Gonna take a look at MyPy, the optional static typing library for Python 3 and 2. For our audience that isn't familiar with MyPy, Python is a dynamic language. It does not require you to describe the types of your variables, whether that's declaring local variables or passing arguments into functions. A lot of people complain about Python as a language because of it. So I haven't tried out MyPy before. We'll give it a try. Uh, we'll give a look at how to install it. So MyPy requires Python 3. Let's give a check to make sure that we're using Python 3. And we are. Let's give a try at installing MyPy. Now if Python on your system is configured properly, you can type check the statically typed parts of a program like this. Looks like there's all kinds of IDE integrations. I use Vim for my Python code. Maybe we'll take a look at that. <laughs> Looks like the docs are not found for how to invoke MyPy for a foreign link. Maybe we'll open an issue about it later. <laughs> we can also try MyPy in an online playground. We'll want to try it on our uh, local just to see how hard it is to install and exactly how to invoke it. Let's try running this. Failed exit code. Argument 1 to fib has incompatible type. So this is the type checking we were talking about. Maybe if we remove int, let's see what happens. Succeeded. <laughs> cool. OK, well, that's a cool online demo. Let's give it a try on our local. We have MyPy installed, so let's try running which MyPy. There it is. Let's try running MyPy help or something like that. Looks like they've got some helpful information about how to invoke it. So let's make a Python module like addition.py and we'll define a function x comma y, x plus y. And let's try adding one plus one. So we can run Python addition.py. We should probably try printing one plus one. Looks like we get two. So if we point mypy at addition.py, it performs some type of validation. And so we haven't specified the optional types of our arguments yet. So let's try providing them here. So it succeeds. If we run it, these optional types are handled fine syntactically. Let's try adding one plus one. Now in Python syntax, if you use the plus sign operator to add two strings, it's performed string concatenation. If we run addition.py, we'll see we get one one instead of two when we add the strings. But if we try running mypy addition.py, let's see what happens. So awesome. Line six, argument one to add has incompatible type string expected int. Cool. So. One can imagine in a larger code base, you might want to run this over a bigger segment of your code base. Um, let's take a look kind of at how to do that real quick. Uh, we can go check out the official docs, see how well documented this puppy is. This is interesting. There's a special syntax for iterators or functions that yield iterators or generators. Browse code examples in the documentation. We'll open two tabs. Nothing too interesting here. Let's take a look at using MyPy with an existing code base. That interests me deeply. If you're a beginner, you can skip the section. Hey, we shouldn't skip the section. <laughs> These steps will get you started with MyPy on an existing code base. Start small, get a clean MyPy build for some files with few annotations. Write a MyPy script, runner script to ensure consistent results. Run a MyPy in continuous integration to prevent type errors. That's very cool. Gradually annotate commonly imported modules. Write annotations as you modify existing code and write new code. Pretty cool. You can use monkey type or pi annotate to automat automatically annotate legacy code. Don't know what either of those things are, but we'll assume they're good. We discuss all these points in some detail below and a few optional follow-up steps. This is of interest. If your code base is large, pick a subset of your code base, say 5,000 to 50,000 lines, and run MyPy only on this subset at first without any annotations. 
This shouldn't take more than a day or two to implement, so you start enjoying benefits soon. <laughs> day or two. You'll likely need to fix some MyPy errors, either by inserting annotations requested by MyPy or by adding type ignore comments to silence errors you don't want to fix now. In particular, MyPy often generates errors about modules that it can't find or that don't have stub files. Okay, and there it looks like you can declare a config file that allows you to ignore certain parts of your code base. Uh, for CI, you'll want to install it on your CI system as a dependency and be able to invoke it as a, as a script. This is a cool tool. I think I'd use this in the future. Before I forget, let's go and file a, a bug <laughs> for that 404ing link in the readme. That's not acceptable. So the link was down here in the readme. Statically type, this is the URL that's, that's failing. Let's try filing an issue. Let's say, well first, let's try searching. Is open, readme. Uh, nothing about this so far. So let's create a new issue. Readme link 404s. Uh, no. Wow, I was getting really aggro. Uh, what? Okay, cool. Okay, mm, let's read their information about contributing or filing a ticket. If you're editing a wrong signature of a function or a class in the standard library, this is not us. Please provide more information to help us understand the issue. Are you reporting a bug or opening a feature request? Bug this URL in the readme 404s. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's submit the new issue and let's fix it. <laughs> so what we'll need to do is we'll need to clone the repo. Actually, we'll need to fork it. Let's fork the repo and we'll submit a PR. This should only take a few seconds. Let's clone it. Let's take a look really quickly at how people tend to name their, um, their feature branches. Let's take a look at this one. So it's just, doesn't even give the, uh, Oh, here's, here's a more descriptive uh, PR. Let's take a look at what they did. Bug fix, blah, blah. So let's make our branch name bug fix and then our uh, GitHub issue ID. And all we'll need to do is update the readme to have the right uh, URL. So let's go check out uh, the official docs on read the docs. And we'll search function signature. So let's update this URL to point here. And we'll be able to take a look at the diff. Good to link to the HTTPS version of the docs. So instead of basics.html, we're now going to getting started. I think this is what the original intent of the readme writer or readme author was hoping to link to. So let's create a new commit, committing everything. We can say uh, fixes number 6732 uh, uh, replaces 404ing link in readme. We'll push this to our GitHub fork, and when we refresh, or once this is done pushing, we'll see this here. So we can optionally create the pull request here, or we can click the link that GitHub shows in our push uh, output. So we'll want to make the PR into the main MyPy. Um, let's create the pull request. Cool. So that's how you contribute to open source. <laughs> I'll include a link to my 
issue in my PR in the notes so that you guys can take a look at whether this gets merged or not. But hey, couldn't hurt. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to follow along with some of the open source projects that I try out and share how it goes for me, like, subscribe. Uh, and if you have recommendations about open source projects that I should check out, feel free to drop them in links in the comments. Uh, I'm happy to check them out.